Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to a new video. My name is Prince Mason. Today, I'm going to be showing you how you can process your raw files in Evodo and also retouch the images. Yes, Evodo right now is becoming or has become an all-in-one solution for everything that you need to do when it comes to retouching. Previously, I would have to actually start retouching or start processing my raw files in Capture One and then move it to Photoshop to retouch, bring it back to Capture One to do like some finishing touches and all that. But Evodo is saying, nah, nah, you don't have to do that. You don't have to go from Lightroom to Photoshop, Capture One to Photoshop or Lightroom to Evoto, Capture One to Evoto, no, no. Now you can do everything in Evoto. You can process your raw files in Evoto. You can manage your files in Evoto and then you can retouch and export from Evoto. And I think that is really, really cool. Today's video is sponsored by Evoto. So what I'm going to do is show you how you can take your images from what you're seeing on the screen right now to this. And I think that's super cool and we do everything right here in Evoto. So Let's get straight into it. What you have to do is just go to your library up here. You have your edit panel, you have your library panel right here. And we're going to go to project and we're going to create a new project. And I'm going to name this Atel underscore two. And the reason why I'm doing this is because I already created like this project right here, which is Atel. So I'm just going to hit create. Now, let's say I've had everything imported. You guys can see how it looks on the screen right now. What I'm going to do after importing this right now is go to edit. Now, there are a few things that you can do too. You can rate your images if you want. Um, it's very simple. You can do the smart curling if you have like a lot of images. I'm going to get into how to do all that in another video today. What I want to do is show you guys how you can retouch a session from start to finish using the photo. So right now I have these images that I've selected in here and what we're going to do is go to the edits panel right so as you guys can see with this image i already edited this image from start to finish but we're not going to touch this image we're just going to move to another image so probably just pick this one right here or we can go let me just see which one do i like more oh, okay you know i really like this one so probably just going to jump into editing this one so now that we've picked this image the first thing i want to do is come up here to color adjustments because we don't want to start doing the ai retouching and all that first we want to make sure that our colors are really good so i'm going to come up here to color adjustments and now that i'm in color adjustments what i'm going to do is close the ai color adjustments because i don't want to use that i'm not saying that you can't use that i prefer doing my things um myself when it comes to color i want my colors to look the exact way that i want them to look and once i'm done with that i can easily carry or copy anything that i've done from one image to the other right okay so our profile is going to be a standard profile and we're going to be working with the full image now after we started work with the full image we can move into masking and i'll show you a few things that you can do in masking so this is a raw file as you can see um it looks pretty flat so the first thing we want to do is add some um i would say um contrast to it so instead of going and messing with my contrast slider what i like to do is come down to color grading and here in color grading i'm going to do a few things so i'm going to drop my shadows um, my midtones i'll probably pull my midtones down and then my highlights i'm going to increase my highlights so this is just going to give me a little bit of contrast to the image right and the next thing i'm going to do is go to my temperature slider right so here my temperature slider i'm going to look at a few things the first thing is that i can see that my image has a lot of greens in it so i'm just going to add some tint and just bring some life back into her by you know just putting some magenta in there and i can also make this image warmer or cooler depending on what i want so probably just going to leave it as it is right now now this looks really good and there's absolutely nothing wrong with how this image looks the only thing i want to do is i want to separate the image from the background um and the reason why i want to do this is when i add adjustments it affects the whole image and while that is good sometimes i actually want to be able to you know work on my subject separately from the background i want that separation you know um when it comes to my images so um this is very easy all you have to do is go to masking and it would say do you want the entire person so i'm just going to click on that so we have the entire person masked right now if you come here you can see we have our mask and this is the entire person right okay so now that we have the entire person done i can work on my subject 
by herself right um so what i'm going to do is probably just add some shadows to this maybe some white um maybe make the highlights stand out just a little bit you know so now that i've done this i have my first mask created i can go and create a second mask which is going to be my background mask so once i've clicked that you can see i have like my background mask here which is mask two so now that i have my background mask clicked what i can do with my background mask is just come in here and then do whatever it is that i want to do to it honestly speaking um but with this what i want to do is reduce the tint so basically i'm just going to reduce the magenta and then you know if i want i can make it cooler i can make it warmer so something like this looks good so let's see how before and how after before and after it's looking good i'm probably just going to drop this down before after this is looking good um i'm going to go to the person mask again right here as you can see we've made some adjustment the person mask the temperature i'm not sure how i want it to be Maybe somewhere around here, maybe add some magenta again to the person mask and something like this. So let's see how before, after, before, after. You guys can see this is looking good. You know, um, it was looking really green before, but now we've brought it up to speed. Everything looks really nice and good. Um, the good thing about this is even when you start retouching, you can come back and make adjustments on the raw file. And I think that is sick. The fact that um, previously, if you work on your raw files and you go retouch them and there was a mistake or something, it was almost impossible for you to come back and work on your raw files and then go back to retouching again with this. If I'm retouching and I feel like, hey, you know what, like I want to change one or two things when it comes to like the color of my image or, you know, the, the color of my subject or the color of the background, I can easily come back again into like the raw processing do whatever it is that i want to do and it would just stay that way like it's it, it's crazy because i would then go back to retouching and all the changes that i've made um processing my raw files will automatically show up when i'm retouching and all the retouching changes that i've made will still be there so i think that's that that's sick okay so this is what this looks like right now obviously i would like to make um a few more adjustments here and there um typically i'll take a little bit more time when i'm you know like retouching my images when i'm working um you know like on the color of my images there are there's quite a lot that you can do here you can you go mess with the curves if you want you have your hsl which i think is really cool for example you know my reds I can just drag my reds back here so I'm adding a little bit of magenta into my reds with my orange I can make my oranges yellow or you know um, th th which is typically where your skin tones are between oranges and and um, and red um, basically so yellow oranges and red so just something like this look at before look at that after before after look at that before after you know brought a lot of life into her skin right now right one other thing that i like to do with my images is um add noise to my images so i'm just going to close all of this so i'm going to go to grain and then i'm just going to add some grain to my image um absolutely love adding grain to my image feel like it just brings a little bit more life and everything just looks um really good now the reason why i love the the grain option right here is the fact that you can tell it where to add more grain either in the shadows the mid-tones the highlights um obviously you can do like the size if you want it to be rougher and i really like how um evoto actually works with um grain or how it lets you manipulate like the the grain in your images now i'm pretty sure other softwares actually do that too but i just really like the way um it lets you work with it the fact that it will let you choose between the shadows highlights and midtones okay great so now we are done processing this file look at our before look at our after it looks absolutely gorgeous before after before after um what we're going to do is go into portrait retouching right now okay so right now i am in portrait retouching and as we know this is where evoto is the king of ai retouching right now um there are a few things you can do here start with blemish removal and um this is one of the few things that i really really like doing with ai because um one of the hardest or one of the most time consuming things that you can do when it comes to retouching is removing blemishes so if i have something that's going to take that workload away from me i'll definitely definitely um be using that so right now 
all you have to do is just drag a slider as usual you can decide to remove your freckles and acne or you can leave the freckles and just keep the acne the reason why i really like this is because as you guys can see even with the freckles turned all the way up it's still protecting um these right here which are kind of like birthmarks that she has right so i really like that it's protecting that so let's see how before after um before after she doesn't have a lot of blemishes to be very honest so um that's one thing about her she has like really good skin but if we zoom into all these places you can see these tiny ones right there it's taking that out um yeah so she really doesn't have a lot of blemishes but it's doing a good job taking out the the little that she has right okay great um we're going to move to the body too because um now you can do that you know with skin retouching on the body so um so um now that we've taken that out let's see what else are we going to take out again so we're going to go to um body and we're going to take out body blemishes so you can see she has a little bit more on her body and it's going to just take those out right um you can take out the neck wrinkles i for the most part do not like taking those out so i'm just going to leave that there there are too many things that you can do with evodo and that's the crazy part it's so much that it's in a way overwhelming and i feel like it would make you do too much there, there's so much that you can do and another thing i really like about it is i i like the the control that it gives you in a way right oh look at face mold removal if you want to take out those face molds but you know for the most part except your client asks you to take out the face molds don't ever take those out okay great so we have lip wrinkles um you can take that out if you want i for the most part like to leave those in there but you know maybe just a little bit you know just a little bit um let's see what else what else do i want to do um let's go to skin retouching so i'm going to close this and we're going to go to skin retouching i prefer to use the even dodge and burn um but i'm not going to take it all the way to the end somewhere around here is fine and then you can sculpt you know if you want the facial features so this is kind of like global dodge and burn if you want the contours you know this is global dodge and burn so there are a few things you can do here again that are pretty targeted that i really like so if you want to take out the cheek wrinkles you can go there you can take those out it's just going to take that out if you want to take out your smile lines you guys can see it's going to take out the smile lines um these lines right here um which are just to the side of the lips i don't even know how to pronounce that to be very honest but you can take those out all the way right here and then the lips okay great so right now let's see our before and after we have our before after before after before after and this is something that will take you a long time to do and we're doing this in just a few minutes here in the photo so i think that's absolutely crazy um another thing you can do when it comes to skin retouching is your body retouching basically so you can go in there do the even dodge and burn and it'll fix the body as you guys can see look at the before after it's done that i personally prefer to use the dodge and burn option in evodo instead of the frequent separation option because typically i retouch with dodge and burn so coming into evodo i wouldn't want to use frequent separation except i absolutely need to use it but you can mix both now the last thing that i'll do to this image is is probably um, go to the hair if there are a few flyaways that I want to take out I'm just going to go in there and say remove stray hair and you guys can see it's just fixed at the back the stray hairs are nowhere to be found so previously like I said if you've retouched an image like this it's almost impossible for you to go back to the raw files and make certain changes to them but with this the cool thing about evodo is that i still have my raw files on hand right here so i can go in here and say hey you know i'm going to go to masking and um, with my masking i'm going to go to the background i'm going to go to basic and i want the background to be warmer right and now the background is warmer right so you guys can see this is my raw files i go to my retouching boom all of a sudden everything is still there that is crazy you know there's so much that you can do with evodo and it's just left you know to you um it's left to you to use your imagination and just go in there and fix the images the way you want them fixed but for me i think this is a lovely looking image um as long as you shoot right when you come into evodo it just makes life a lot easier for you and this is something that i've been using for a while now you know um and it's definitely a hundred percent has changed my workflow and it's made retouching a lot easier for me i definitely would love a little bit more control in evodo but 
I know that's going to come in the sense that um, they have the liquify tool now and they have the healing tool. One thing I would like to see is a way to dodge and burn in the future, you know. Um, so basically, I have done everything that AI can do for me, but I just want to make some manual adjustments by myself. I like the option to be able to go in there and dodge and burn personally. But to be very honest, Evodo is like helping me. 80 percent of the way to you know get to exactly where i want to be and in some cases you know it's 100 percent because like the other image that i worked on um previously i'm just going to take this image and, and post it online the, the way it is and then with this one too you know the same thing i'm just going to take it post it online the way it is now the great thing about this is the fact that okay so right now we are here and i'm um, just going to pick this image that i've worked on the good thing about this is that i can just copy these settings and it's going to ask me why i want obviously i didn't use any ai color adjustments so it's not going to take that i took the portrait retouch and everything the color adjustments so what i'm just going to do is i'm just going to click ok so it's been copied and then i'm just going to come here um maybe this image and then just paste it so simple and if i come in here i have everything done retouch that's it it's it's crazy it's mind-blowing that you can do that so everything the retouching the the color everything has been done obviously i'm going to go in here and fix a few things because um this was shot with harsh light or hard light actually and this was shot with soft light so you know there are two different images so i'm probably just going to go in here and um go to the person right here the person mask and probably add some some warmth to it and also i'm going to go to color grading and my midtones i'm probably just going to drag my midtones down just a little bit something like that and then i'm just going to go to to retouch the image and voila look at that life's life's just life's just easy you know <laughs> life's just easy um so yeah i think voto is doing amazing stuff and if you've not checked it out check it out um you can you know like get a voto using the link in my bio i absolutely love the software and it's become a part of my retouching um and i use it daily right now to retouch so yeah check your photo out gonna make a couple more videos on this i'm pretty sure a lot of people have made videos praising the software but i jumped on it a few months ago and i absolutely love it Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video. Like I said, if you're trying to get a photo, use the link in the description below. See you guys in the next video. Peace out.